What's cracking? Joe's a Garfunkel. Let's learn some shit. Alright, so with all these new 1.18 updated items that we have, you need protos so that these items get loot. That way as you place them around in your buildings and stuff, these will develop their own loot based on their own pods. These are the things that I've already created some loot protos for, just so they would start working with my own things for that server that I do not have. <laughs> but uh... Yeah, I don't know. I thought the community could use this. It's not perfect. Um, you gotta play with the range. So it has like a radius within its spawn point. It can spawn. Some of them are clearly in the wrong positions. But I have went ahead and created some just some basic simple protos so these things can potentially have loot. To demonstrate how to make a good map group proto, I'll be using Daisy Editor. All right, so come over here and search for the items that you want to look up. The new static items. Browse through them. See what you want to see. What you want to use. I know one that I've been wanting to make a proto for is the wooden box. All right. I'd like to have at least a piece of loot on top of that. Now, once you have your item that you want to map laid out in this case the box we're gonna go get a gift box personally I use little ones for stuff like this that way I can you know control the size like get an idea of what the size of it's gonna be tip using grounded lets you move this around without it sliding up and down shout out to cribs for that tip so we're gonna place that right in the middle to make it simple okay once you have your item and your boxes in your loot positions, I'm going to do two just to give you the example that you can do multiples. All right, we're going to export this as a dot C because that's what the converter uses. So, you ah that little glitch, right? YouTube box export dot C. Where do we go to get that? We're going to open our file browser, go to your documents, go to Daisy, go to editor. It's going to be down in here. What do we call it? The YouTube box. Open it up. Mine goes to Microsoft Studio. Yours might go to Notepad++, whichever you want to open it with. And we only need to worry about these lines here. The top line is going to be the item we're mapping. The lower lines are just going to be the positions. The, those are just placeholders. Bring that copied over here to this calculator converter. Videos on my channel, links in the Discord, and the original link will be here at the, in the description. Paste that in at the bottom. Paste. Let's get over here. Paste spawn object data below. This. All right. Then we're going to have to copy this name here. We're going to scroll back to the top of this one. And we're going to put it here. Those need to match. For this case, we want it to spit out proto lines using a range and a height. Range is going to help determine the size of the items, height as well, a little bit. And it determines a radius or a relation to its, its individual positions of how far the item can spawn out there, what size item, it's, there's a whole lot more to it. But in this case, we just want something small. 45 to 50 will get you some weapons. 25 probably get us some ammo and stuff. So we're gonna click Control or hold Control, hit Save, that saves it. Control S, save, my bad. And then you're gonna come down here to the bottom, open a new terminal, close your old ones, node space dot for this particular calculator and it's going to give us in map group proto form the position strings that we need alright we're going to leave those there for a second we'll come back to that 
So right over here at the map group proto, all right, what I like to do is copy an existing insert, bring it to the bottom of my list, come back over here, grab your item name, because that's the item that we're mapping, right? And then we want to take these strings that it spit back to us and replace the container strings with them. You can format it however you want and make it pretty. Since this has a loop max of two, we will leave it since we have two strings. All right, now that we've made a proto, we need to know this box's position, right? So we're going to export this as a map group pause to pull the XML position. That little, when you hit the Y button, YouTube box pause. Back to your file browser, documents, daisy, editor, these are your files. We name this YouTube box pause. We're going to open this. This is the pause string for that box. We're going to put that in our map group pause of our server file. Now that box has a position on the map. This tells the map, hey, we have one of these boxes at this position. So this name matches the proto name and says, hey, we're allowed to put these types in these positions. All right, and we also need to export this as a JSON so it knows where the box is or whatever you're building in this case. Alright, so now that we have our JSON telling the box where we want it, we have the proto telling the box what it can accept and how to have it, and we have our position telling the proto where to go. Now we need to upload those to our server. I'll be using FileZilla. You can use whatever you would like. Explorer here opens the JSON. Simply slide that over here to our server. For console, you will have to be putting it in a custom folder. Now that we have that in our server, we need to come over here to our server's gameplay file and make sure that we're calling that line or file rather make sure to save it and put that one in there too we also need to go ahead and put our pause and our proto that we have just updated into our server confirmation that the files have uploaded go ahead and hit that restart on the server alright back over here on our Nitrado test server we've got our box over here so we know the JSON worked let's go see if we got some loot alright well they're a little sunk in you'll have to play with it some but uh yeah we got a bullet and we got a uh, 9 volt so as you can see, not everything lays perfect. You'll have again, you'll have to play with the range and the height to get everything to sit just right. Okay, but that's the basic principles on how to do this. And I'll catch y'all on the next one. Hope you learned some shit.